hello YouTube welcome back to my video in this video we are going to check how to create a custom Facebook share button in your web pages in my previous videos I have shown you how to create a dynamic uh, Facebook share button uh, using JavaScript and how to create that the same dynamic uh, dynamic share button uh, using PHP and and the normal share button what Facebook gives us uh, as the built-in one this one the button count type and the box count type and the button type okay so we'll be checking how to uh, make this share button in the, a custom uh, Facebook share button like you, you can give any image there or you can design your own uh, button using CSS okay we'll be checking the step by step how to do it so let me go back to my PC and create a simple HTML page. So I'm going to create a text document. I'm uh, giving the name as uh, share.html. Now uh, let me open this in my notepad. So I'm going to get the code to create the sharer for this web page and I'll explain what we need actually and what you want to do uh, in, uh, to get this in your web page also. Okay okay i have just copied uh, the code to create the sharer as you can see here th this one line code is enough to get you a sharer in your web page but there is one update you have to do here here uh, there is an a section app id and uh, a url section here so you have to update uh, these two with a dynamic app id and the url so app id uh, it will be uh, we can create it from the facebook itself i'll show you that and the url is the web page or web page link which uh, you need to get the share okay now let's go for creating the app id from uh, the from facebook so to create the app id just go to your, your browser and just search for uh, developers facebook okay so once you search it you are you will get a link uh, the link is this one facebook for developers just click on that so you will uh, get this screen so this is actually uh, the developer side of facebook where you will get all the aps uh, which you can use in all uh, your applications to get connected with facebook okay so first thing you have to log in in your uh, facebook here you can use the same credential of uh, yours uh, wh what is your facebook user id and password and uh, just log in here so have uh, just logged in so after you log in you will uh, get a my app section here where you can create new apps so basically we are going to a new app and create get a new app id so once you get the new app id you can use that in our share okay now i'm going to create a new app so just uh, uh, click on add new app here and uh, just give any uh, display name so i'm just uh, giving it as uh, test share up and just create just click on create app id and it will ask for a captcha just uh, finish it and just enter it the captcha and uh, just submit it okay so after you submit it you will uh, be directly taken uh, to another uh, page where this is your developer facebook uh, dashboard where you can see an app id at the top or uh, top itself just click on that to copy uh, to your clipboard and now let's come to our share.html which we created and update here in uh, this section okay the app id section just uh, paste that completely now just uh, save it and you have to update the url with any page so i'm going to create a, a share for this page itself let me copy this link here come back to uh, our share.html and paste the link here and let's uh, save this yes just created a sharer now it's uh, ready for testing now let's uh, go back to our folder and just refresh and let me open this in my chrome and let's see what is coming in the page okay so i have just opened it it's getting opened yes uh, the page has been loaded and a message is there i mean a href link is there where share a sharer is there and you can see here here it is uh, i am just uh, enclosed the share page a string inside the href tags so if i am just clicking this one it should pop up me uh, the share page and uh, with all the contents which uh, uh, the share uh, the page is having okay
so uh, we can just update here this part to get uh, the custom um, button or image so i'll i'll show you a, a another one with an image so let me copy paste it again now let me give a breakpoint here beer to get this in se uh, second line now uh, let me search for a facebook uh, share button and i'll download any one of this one a small one i have uh, just out downloaded this image let's try uh, with this image how it looks like if you are adding this in our web page so this is our uh, icon image so let me copy the name of that come back to our sharer now i'm putting here an image let's see let me update this uh, share page string uh, with an image tag image is uh, c equals here yes and now we have to put uh, the image name there so the image name is this one completely copy it come back here paste here yes uh, we have just added that now let's uh, try running this page again now from double clicking this one and see here the page i mean the button has been come we can uh, change it if i'm just clicking this one the pop-up image is coming i mean the pop-up share share pop-up is coming so let me uh, reduce the size of this one style so i have just uh, set uh, the width is equal to four percentage and let's go back to our share refresh it here it is so now let me reduce it more let it two percent so it will be uh, as a button here okay so if i'm just clicking here uh, the image i mean the share pop-up is coming okay so we have just checked a, a normal string one and here we have just uh, put an image now we'll uh, try a css button also uh, a customized css button also here let's try it uh, so from uh, the w3schools.com uh, I got a CSS button uh, so let me copy the style from here come back to our page and uh, give more breakpoint now let me copy all this style paste it here and uh, let me create uh, this uh, button there completely now paste it down now we can copy this completely again here now uh, we are uh, setting this one uh, this one as class button and we know we don't need this one now we don't need the image also here let me remove all this image tag from here and I'm just updating it as uh, Facebook share now let me save this one now let's go to uh, the share.html and run it and let's see the output here it is so we have just made a custom share button so we can you can use any any css or any image also in this one i i just shown you uh, with a plain uh, string there or plain text there and this is of an image there and this one is a custom css button okay so all the three is working so by this code you can uh, get uh, the custom see uh, custom share button for all your web pages and keep in mind you can uh, just create one app id and use in all your project or all your uh, web pages okay you just need to create one app id only okay so that's all for now how you can uh, create a custom um, share button in your web pages if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you i'll share all the source code in my description you can have it and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching